Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Do The Work. Here we're going to cover question 9 of the math proficiency test for teachers in Ontario. I strongly encourage you to hit the subscribe button below to support the channel and also receive the new videos automatically by a notification. I would really appreciate it. And now we're asked to find or evaluate 3 quarters plus 6 minus 1 quarter. The first step in solving any problem in mathematics is to know the theory that goes behind it and to understand what the question is asking. So what is the value of 3 quarters plus 6 minus 1 quarter? Here the problem is relatively simple, we just need to compute this. So to do this we need to know how to add and subtract fractions because we're dealing with fractions. And arguably, you could also know to convert it into that decimal or how to punch it in your calculator because we are allowed to use a calculator here. So just like just intuitively, we have six and then we add less than one and then we take out less than one. So really, we need to find out which number is uh, like it would be between six and seven, right? We know that the answer is between six, it's greater than six, but it's also less than seven. So is this answer less than seven and greater than six? Probably not, right? It's one half, 0 0.5. And then this is just over one. So it's just over one, this is two. And then this is 24 divided by four is six. So we know right away it's this one. But for, forget this, okay? That's just intuition. But I'm just showing you this in case you're stuck and you don't know how to add and subtract fractions. So let's do it the formal way now. We have three quarters plus six and then minus one quarter. We need a common denominator. So that's the first step, common denominator. What's the lowest one? Like sure we could put everyone, all the fractions over eight, but the lowest one is actually just four because we have two fours already, so I'll multiply by four. And note that we're allowed to do this because this is multiplying multiplying by one. And when you multiply by one, so eight times one is just itself, right? Multiplying by one doesn't change the original thing. So we get three quarters, six times four is 24, plus 24 divided by four, minus one quarter. And note that 24 divided by four is just six. So that makes sense, that's our middle term. Now that we have a common denominator, we combine the fractions. So this would result in three plus 24 minus one, all over four. And sorry, there's a four here. So it's three plus 24 minus one, and then that's 27 minus one, that's 26 over four. Or if we rewrite it, uh, I'll just write simplify. So here it's obviously D like we said, and if we put it as a mixed number, it would be, so let's do that in, in the intuition part. We have 26, over four, that's equal to six times four, so that's 24, and then we have two quarters, or that's six and one half, or that's 6.5. You can also convert it like this, right? You can divide, divide it by four, and you get the following. And um, if you want to go even deeper, you could divide it the long way, not the the square root like this, it'd be 26 divided by four. And then you do it zero, it fits zero time, and then it fits six time. And then that's 24, your remainder two. And then you drop a zero here, and it fits five time. And then that's 20, and then that's zero. So it's 6.5. That's one way you could do it. So that's it for this question. Uh, please watch the video from Khan Academy if you need extra help. And there's no shortage of fraction practice. So just Google fraction, adding and subtracting fractions. 
plenty of practice. You can access these notes by clicking the link in the uh, description below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.